Hello fellow amateur radio friends, I am Oscar November 7, Oscar Foxtrot Foxtrot and welcome to a new video today about the TT software and how to use the TT software in a remote setup. I will try to keep the video as short as possible and I will give you a few tips and tricks as well at the end of the video uh, regarding the use of the TT software in general. Uh, basically what is interesting to know is that since uh, the newest version, I think it was introduced in version 2.10.3.1 if I'm not mistaken. As you can see on the screen, I am using version uh, 2.10.3.3 HL2. So this is the modified version specifically for the Hermes Lite. I recommend uh, to use this particular version if you are using the Hermes Lite, if you are using uh, the Anon radio, you can go with the normal uh, TTIS uh, software and uh, you don't have to use the HL2 version. So basically what you can do, the first thing you will need to do is to set up a um, network, a remote network capability to your own uh, internal uh, network at home. Uh, where your uh, Hermes light is actually connected to the network. So you first of all have to connect the uh, HL2, the Hermes, to your local network. And then you have to open a couple of ports on your router. I'm not going into details regarding this. I'm specifically focusing on the uh, TT software. But basically I am using PPTP, which is the built-in version uh, for um, tunneling. Uh, so I can make a private connection or a private tunnel, a, PPP, a PPTP tunnel uh, to my network. And when I'm connected to the PPTP network uh, here in my network, I can see the rest of the computers in my network. So you need to do a few uh, tests like uh, pinging different devices in your network and eventually also ping the IP address of your Hermes Lite. Um, if you want to set up Hermit, your TT software uh, to make it work with uh, the um, uh, remote setup and with your uh, tunneling system, I have no experience in other tunnels, so don't ask me uh, how to do it with other tunnels. If you are using other kind of uh, tunneling technology or protocols, please let me know if it works with yours. It would be interesting for other people who are watching the video. So basically what you need to go uh, or what you need to do is go to setup and uh, you need to go to uh, general tab. And in the general tab, uh, a thing you absolutely have to be aware of that you need to have the Hermes Lite model here. Uh, so because you use the Hermes, your receive will be uh, contemplated. So you will have a very bad receive. Um, and then you need to go uh, to the for, uh, FW set, which stands for frequency with set. Now. Uh, Thetis is very uh, data hungry, so it uses a lot of uh, bandwidth on your network. Uh, so I recommend to set up your network or your uh, bandwidth to 48,000. Um, so this will um, actually be acceptable as far as bandwidth is concerned. When you use 48,000, uh, you are going to use about may, more or less three to four megabits of uh, data stream to your network. So if you are using on a, um, let's say uh, 5G connection, it will still work. 4G is gonna be quite difficult, um, but basically this kind of setup is to be used for somebody who is in another local network that is connected through an ADSL or a high-speed connection to the internet. So once you set the uh, sample rate to 48,000, uh, you can experiment to put it higher once you have your uh, remote setup working. Go to hardware select. And a very important thing is that before you actually go outside of your network, try to figure out what is the IP address of your Hermes Lite. Normally, if you connect to your Hermes Lite, it will be filled in right here where you see my mouse, okay. Um, so basically that should be the IP address of your Hermes Lite uh, uh, network interface. But what is important is that uh, disable reuse last IP address, okay? Enable static IP address, this is required. And please uh, disable limit to subnet uh, because if you enable this one, you will not be able to connect to your Hermes Lite. Uh, all the other settings, just keep it the way it is. And also the uh, uh, 
information here or the display IP port in the title bar it has nothing to do it's just some inf extra information that you get in the title bar of your Hermes Lite uh, or your Tatis software uh, this will make you um, connect to your Hermes Lite without any problems on a PPTP connection. That's it. Um, one more little trick. Last time I showed you that there is a possibility to check the um, spotters uh, of uh, different uh, spots that uh, are made. Uh, and if you go to the screen here and you enable it, you see when I click the shift key it will change but you can also see sometimes it will also give you the um, information regarding the long longitude and the latitude and if you want to disable it press the control key so the shift key and you, when you hold the shift key you will see the uh, call signs here who spotted the different uh, uh, spots here in your waterfall and when you press the control key it will disable also the background because it has two functions at the same time I forgot to mention this in my last video another thing I explained to you in my last video if you click here you got a uh, menu with the right right click you get a menu right here if you um, estimate that for example the peak is a button that you often choose if you want to have this particular button as the default button you right click here as you can see it changes into peak and you got two different buttons like this you got fill here if I right click here and let's say I take uh, I want to have info as my uh, button I right click it again and you will see that it will change so these are two little tips I keep the video as very short as possible as short as possible so 70 trees I will make another video shortly regarding how I managed to uh, bridge the uh, frequency readout of my uh, TT software to my uh, logging software is going to be a much longer video because there's a lot of things that you need to tweak and uh, it is not as easy as that and it also depends uh, on the software that you are using uh, in my case this is my software or the software that I'm using I'm using BB logger uh, in case you have another uh, logging program maybe you could eventually try it maybe it's your piece of cake but I know there's a lot of flavors and different kinds of logging programs available but uh, in my next video I will explain more on how I can bridge the frequency readout of my TT software um, with the BB logger specifically but uh, the principle will be the same if you've got another uh, software 70 trees take care thank you very much and hopefully we can see you again somewhere on the bands this is on7off signing off bye bye